I'm just going to be going uh, over the first update on this, on the old pond, obviously since I'm building this, but I'm just making this video sort of in the midst of building that and those videos, just because y'all haven't gotten a good look at this pond in a little while, and there are some things that I need to say about it and its future, so... Right now it's looking good. I got like a few plants like that and these are sprouting up through the old soil that, you know, we threw over here from inside of there. And I cleaned out most of the leaves off the top so you can see, except at the bottom, there's still leaves at the bottom so it looks sort of ugly still. But whenever it warms up, it will uh, look better because I can get in there and clear the leaves out and so a lot of y'all right now are like your pond isn't crystal clear you need like a pond filter whatever pump now that would be awesome like I would do anything to have like an awesome waterfall and filter in here like multiple of them except my house is all the way up there and my parents wouldn't let me build any ponds anywhere other than way down here because they said they don't want to see it, which is dumb because it's going to be awesome. But they just said that they didn't want me to build it up near the house, which I understand. Because, I mean, that's a pretty big hole to have in your yard. And so, I can't run electricity down here. And, like, it would be, I mean, I guess I could dig a tunnel and put electrical, like, uh, extension cords. But that would just be dangerous and way too hard. And... I mean, I've had this bass in here for a long time, and he's doing fine. He's eating and everything. But it would be nice to have the water cleaner. So what I'm going to do with that pond, whenever I build it, as soon as I put the water in, one, I'm not going to have these leaves. Those are making, like, a lot of crap in the water. And I'm going to put plants in immediately, which is going to filter out water. And I'm going to gonna put minnows in immediately which is gonna eat a lot of bacteria a lot of just crap that's making the water this color at least that's my theory because it worked with the pond over there because I built this pond in the winter and I couldn't get plants that would live uh, since it was winter and I couldn't get minnows since they're just like you can't I can't even really net maybe like one minnow out of every ten scoops in the winter but I do have a few minnows in here that I have because it is warming up and so they're getting active. A bunch of those little ones, they'll reproduce and get more. And I will go and get more once it warms up, whenever there's just tons out. But like, I'm, these guys definitely clean up the water. Like, I see that little, that's actually a little baby brim. I just saw him like eat a piece of algae off that little pine needle. And just little things like that, once you have tons of those, uh, they'll just eat everything and have these plants in here that are living which the minnows love they're all in there I have a lot more plants like this and logs like that this one isn't supposed to be floating I'm just gonna wait until it sinks it looks kind of cool like that but I am gonna have a lot more plants and obviously a ton of plants in that pond but now I'll kind of get to the business of why I was making this video and that is mainly like one uh whenever i about like three or four videos ago i made the video of putting the bass from that pond into this pond and of course he is still in here whenever that pond is finished the bass will go into there along with tons of other fish catfish bluegill crappie whatever native fish around here that will live I'm thinking also about putting a gar in there. I have a really good idea for that. And, well, before I announce the bass's name, which is what I'm going to do in this update, because I said y'all should name it 
in the video of whenever I put them in here, I am going to just say the future of this pond because I'll take the bass out, put them in there like I already said, and I will have this pond to be a turtle pond. Like, I don't want to just have fish in that pond, fish in that pond. I want to have like a main fish pond and then this pond. And I know a lot of y'all are going to be saying like, you need to make a pond all for bait fish. I plan to make a live well, just like a lot of other YouTubers, like all of them that have ponds, just a live well to, so I can scoop out and I can like scoop out them out with a net and then feed them easily with all the big uh, fish that are going to be in that pond. So this pond is going to be a turtle pond and I'll have logs sticking out of the water for them. I'm going to have a little fence so they can't get out, but they'll have plenty like about like to there, all like that kind of land. Y'all see whenever uh, I do it. So that's going to be awesome. And yeah, that's just if any of y'all were wondering what I plan to do with this pond, make it a turtle pond. And well, now I'll get to announcing the name of this big bass. Last time I weighed him was whenever I put him in here, which was a few months ago. I mean, maybe not a few months ago. I don't really keep track of the time. Maybe like a month and a half ago. And he weighed 2.13 pounds. Now by uh, the, he ate all 14 bluegill I put in here and some other ones I've put in, put in here. I've seen him eat some minnows. He's eating worms. He's eating grubs that I've gotten from there. And so his name is going to be Big Boy. Now that's the best name that I saw uh, while I was looking through the comments on that video I'll put up the guy's name and the comment like right here I believe his name is Gavin Dukes I probably didn't pronounce that right but thank you for the name big boy I like that it's gonna be awesome even though he is probably only around three pounds right now he I will grow him in there and I'll just get him huge and I can see big boy which is his new name pretty easily right now but y'all can't just because you know this isn't a Canon G7X or anything but uh yeah that's his name that's basically all I really wanted to say in this update I will go and grab some worms I have just a little can of worms right in this little bucket right here and well y'all probably won't be able to see it but I will drop a few of these down there oh crap i forgot i left them out in the rain might sort of be dead full of water okay that sucks i bet i'll still eat them they're still a little bit alive but yeah these giant worms wow that's like a 12 incher i'll just drop this guy right on his head his head is right right where the bottom of the worm is because i can't point or i'll drop this thing here we go this big old worm drop it right on his head three two one Okay, that was sort of inaccurate, kind of going down to his tail. But I'll back up, because normally he'll eat it whenever I back Oh, he just smoked it. Oh, gosh, that was vicious. Oh, that's the most crazy eat I've ever seen from him. Oh, that was awesome. I really wish I had my GoPro right now and I can get underwater footage of this. But I did break my GoPro, sadly, in a pond fishing excursion. But I ordered another one. It should be here in about two days and I will get some awesome footage of that thing underwater. I'll throw another one in. Watch this, he'll smoke it. <clears throat> Did y'all see that? I hope y'all saw that. Oh man, he's really active today. It's probably the rain, because normally he's kind of stingy. I'll drop these two in and I'll do one at a time. There we go. Oh, you had to see that. It's going to be so dope whenever I get that water clean. And y'all can see this. I'll give him a second to digest that. And I will feed him this. I've never actually done it before. But he's never this active. So I'm going to try to hand feed him. Oh my gosh, he's actually coming up. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Because I just never thought it would work. Oh, he just turned. Okay, I'm just going to drop it. Oh, he just missed it. 
I think you'll saw that and put my hand so y'all can see it better. Come on, smoke it again. Mm, all right, okay, guess he's not going for it. Don't wanna make this update too long. But yeah, that is the plans. This is gonna be a turtle pond. That awesome bass named Big Boy is gonna go in here. As you can see, he's getting really comfortable with eating now. I'm gonna put a lot, like I'm gonna have a lot more footage of feeding this guy just because that's so awesome. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure to subscribe, please, please. There's gonna be a whole lot more pond stuff like this. It's my new favorite hobby. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and see y'all on the next one.